So you really want to make sure that it's well thought out and everything is presented in the most clear and logical way, especially when, you know, for instance, when we were just discussing mapping out your assets within the balance sheet, you don't want to just start batching different assets together or presenting things in an unclear or an inconsistent manner, because then it's going to start to make these financial statements much less useful. And to that point, you want to be very clear and concise and consistent in the naming conventions that you use for wallets and for assets and present it well on the financial statements. It's also going to help during the accounting process, during the categorization process to ensure that all, all transactions are getting booked to the right accounts. So when you do have major holdings like Bitcoin, Ethereum, or some other major holdings in your wallet, it may make sense to break those out and increase the level of detail on your balance sheet.